Hello, this is Classical by James Sinclair. From his uh from his artisanal Sudoku newsletter. I, I honestly have no idea how to describe it. But um the first puzzle in his new volume 107 for this week is actually really beautiful. I like I love the colours, I love the pattern, it's very symmetrical and everything. So let's look into the puzzle. I don't know why it's called a classico if it's a killer sudoku. But okay, normal sudoku rules apply, so you place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. Cages show their sums, and digits may not repeat in a cage. So, for example, these two digits sum to this value here, which is a 7. These two digits sum to this value here, which is a 4, and so on and so forth for everything here. So, with that, let us begin solving. A very short rules today, so I'm gonna look at. Well, there are some easy picks we can look at first, like this four here, which must be a one three pair because uh, four can only be made of one three or two and two, and the numbers may not repeat in a cage. Similarly, here is a one three pair. Now it does seem that we have some patterns with the numbers as well, in which those are four, five, six, seven. These are all fifteen. But I don't think they're gonna help us a lot. Yes, and in fact, I think I can do something with this center cell here. <laughs> this center cell is actually uh, is actually basically free, and the reason why is because if you consider the digits from one to nine, and you add them up together, then the total number of uh, the, to the total sum of this box would be forty five. These digits sum to nine each, and therefore, uh, and therefore, these digits sum to thirty six. This last digit must then be 45 minus 36, which is 9. You can also you you can also say, well, where does 9 go in this box? If it wasn't here, it can't be anywhere in these cages because 9 cannot add with any positive integer to give you 9. So 9 has to be outside of the box, outside of a cage. Now, let's see. We have a lot of 15 cages, which can which can only be 7, 8, or 6 and 9, and 9 sees a lot of these cells. Hmm, not sure if that really does anything. Because, I mean, I could still mark them down, right? They could either be 7, 8, 6, 9, and then these middle cells here can't be 9, so the other cell can be 6 as a result. But what does that do? Maybe it helps with something. Can I all those digits? Yeah, maybe maybe something to do with six in here. Hmm. Like, uh, okay. No, I'm not sure. This one maybe, or this one. Because of five also only has two options. It's either one four or two three. But this one three pair sees that cell, which cannot be one or three. So it's therefore 2 or 4. The remaining cells must then be the opposite, which are 1 and 3 themselves. But does that do anything then? Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I look at this 10 cage? Because the outside ring actually seems to contain a lot bigger numbers. Yeah, like here, actually we can do a little trick. Where does 1 and 2 go in this column? Well, 1 and 2 can never be in these cages, because the other digit would have to be more than 10, would have to be 10 or more. So 1 and 2 actually cannot go in any of those cells, and therefore 1 and 2 must be outside. I think that's the only thing we can, that's the only column which we can do that trick. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. I don't I don't think I see much. Maybe it's this.
I mean, this is also pretty small. This has a sum to what? 20, 20, 23? Hmm. If, 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 uh, okay, let's think about this one. Yeah, okay, uh, those cells are not 1, 7, or 3, 6 because of the 1, 3 pair here. So what can those be? I'm going to mark them down. They could be 2, 7, or 4, 5. Now what about this 10 cage here? It can't be 1, 9, or 3, 7 because of the 1, 3 pair, and therefore can only be 2, 8, or 4, 6. Hmm, well that doesn't really do anything. There's no real interaction between those two. Right. Yeah, there's no real interaction. Okay. I just realized I ran out of water. Whoops. That's fine, we'll, we'll keep solving. Uh okay, well that, that that means something maybe. Not sure exactly what that means. Maybe we can do something similar with you know the one six and, and the, the seven here. If this is a 1-5, that forces this to become a 3. And in fact, okay, let's just let's just uh, look through the options for 6. It can either be 1-5 or 2-4. This cell can't be 1 because of the 1-3 pair here. So that cell can't be 5. I think that's it. We can, that's all we can do though. Hmm. Wow, this is really stumping me. And then that one could be any of 3 possibilities. It could be... It could be one six two five or three four, and any any actually any pair here would remove. No, it wouldn't remove a lot of things, right? No, it wouldn't. Okay, this ring here. I am not considering Fistamafel because that for a puzzle of this difficulty is just absurd. But there is some there is some uh, hidden trick that says that the inner ring has the exact same digits as the outers, which is probably interesting somewhat. Probably. Do I do I do I dare use this trick though? I wouldn't see where I could use it though. I wouldn't see where I could use it. Uh, okay. Is there any number that I'm missing? This is 12, 9, 11, 9, 4, 10, 10, 11, 13, 12. Okay, actually, let's think about, let's think about maybe... Maybe let's focus on this set here first. Because we, we did have some options for them, right? I'm just gonna mark them down again. So it turns out that whatever cells these are, they must contain a 2 and a 4. Because if this is 2, 7, then this has to be 4, 6. If this is 4, 5, this has to be 2, 8. So it must contain 1, 2, and 1, 4. So maybe we could remove cells from here, right? Yeah, because this cell can't be 1, 2, 3, or 4. Because there's a 1, 2, 3, and 4 in these columns. It can't be 5 because the other digit is 5. So this is somewhat of a larger digit. So that is somewhat of a smaller digit to match to make 10. What does that say? What does that say? It might have some effect on this set here. Although I can't say for certain though.
Does 9 happen to do anything special here? 9 can't be there or there. 9 can't be there because you only have 1 here. But 9 could then be in all those cells, which doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Okay, well, there's probably something I'm missing. I just don't know what it is. Is it in this ring? Because I don't see any restriction on this ring at all. So the fact they, they see a 789 there. Yeah, wow, okay, I am stumped. I mean, okay, if it's anything, it's probably gonna be the big numbers here then. 9 will go with... Oh, wherever 3 is, yeah, 3 can't be any of those cells, right? Because those, yeah, so 3 would have to be one of those cells, which always have to go with a 9. Therefore, wait, well, no. I was thinking, where does 4 go? Can 4 go in a 13 cage? And 4 would have to be with 9 then. I was like, no, that's not possible. But it is. If you have a 3 here, you, you could have a 9 there, which would allow a 4 to be here with a 9. Okay, but I think it, I think it's important to know that 3 is an only 3 can only be in a 12 cage, which must be with a 9. And 14 actually only does have two options we can have. It's either 6, 8, or 5, 9. Ah, so that means that 7... Well, 7 can't be in there and 7 must be on the outside. Although 7 could be in the 13 cage with a 6, or 7 can be in the 12 cage with a, with a 5. If that cell was a 7 though, what does that mean? Ah, yeah. Wait, yes, if this cell was a 7, it doesn't work. Because if this cell was a 7, then 5 and 6 can't go in those cells. Well, no. Yeah, yes, okay, this is weird, but this can't be a 7. Because where would 6 go? 6 can't go in the 12 cage, otherwise it would be with 6. 6 can't go in the 13 cage because it would need to be with 7, and therefore 6 would have to go in the 14 cage. But where does 5 go? Oh, 5 could go with, oh, 5 could go with the, the 8 in the 13 cage. So it's... Mm, no, that's not true. Yes. Yeah, that still fails. Again, 6 has to go in the 14 cage if 7 was here, which is with 8. But then where does 5 go? 5 can't go in the 12 cage, which is 7, and 5 can't go in the 13 cage with, with an 8, because 8 and 7 are all used up. So, in some weird way, 7 cannot be there. Which means that... Uh, 7 is always going to be in one of these cells, which is going, always going to be either with 5 or 6. Which will then limit the options for this, depending on which cell 7 is actually in. But doesn't that then mean... Well, hmm... Then this outcome be 6 either. Doesn't this then mean that, yeah, if this is 6, then this is 5, 9. Then whichever cell 7 is in, 7 can't be here with 6 because 6 is already there, and 7 can't be here because a 5 would be there. So this outcome be 6 either, and I don't think it can be 5, right? Yeah. So this cell can't have 7, 6, or 5 in it. So it must be uh, 4, 8, or 3, 9, I think. Which doesn't help much. But okay. Now 7 can't be with... Hmm. If 7 is here, it would need to be with 6. This leaves a 5, 9 here. So this would... So this would need 8 and 4. And then that would be 3, which is fine.
I feel like that means this can't be like a 9 or 8 or something. Like this can't be 9 or 8. Can I prove why? If this is a 9... Yeah, if this is a 9, then 3 must be here with a 9. Which doesn't work, because 9 is already there. So that can't be 9 firstly. But can it be 8? If this is 8, then I think the same, the same thing happens with 4, right? If this is 8, then this... Yes, if this is 8, this must be 5, 9, because it can't be 6, 8. And then 4 in one of these cells cannot be here with a 9, or here with an 8, because 8 and 9 are already up there. So this can't be 8 either. Which means that we have essentially removed a lot of digits from there. So either 3 or 4, which must be with 8 and 9. See, I don't know if there's a better way of doing that. Seven with six here makes this a five nine, making this a four eight, making that a three. But if seven is with five here, then this is a six eight, making that a four nine, making that a three. Wait, 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 hold on. Seven here is with six. Seven here is with six. This would be five nine. This would have to be four eight. That is three. But if 7 is here, then it will be 5, and then 3 can only be there. So this is always 3. And I think maybe we could just explain why these couldn't be 3. If they were 3, they would be with 9. This would have to be 6, 8. And then this would not be able to be 7 or 6, 7, 6. Yeah, so this is just 3 at, at all times. I'm happy with saying that. Which gives us a bit more digits. Uh... I, I'm not sure if there was a better way to explain that. There probably was. There probably was a better way of saying that. 3 has to be there. And not in here. Not entirely sure how I would say that though. But okay. Now this is a 7-8 pair, which is... Could be useful because that can't be eight, so that can't be six. Um, can we can we keep doing more stuff? Do we find more contradictions with the seven eight pair maybe? Because seven now can't be here, so seven has to be here, which must be with five. So this is seven five, which means this has to be well this has to be uh six and eight, so that's four and nine, which we can. Uh, this ambiguates because of the 9 there. There we go. That can't be 9, so that can't be 6, meaning this is another 7 8 pair and in fact forms a third pair over here. Okay. That was a trip. This can't be 8. Actually, this can't be 8 7 because now these can be 8. So this is just 6 9. Oh, which we can disambiguate. Nice. That can't be 6 or 9, so that is another 7 8 pair. Which is very asymmetrical. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay, we've broken into the puzzle at least. This is really going to be a long episode, isn't it? This can't be 1, 6. So it could be 2, 5, or 3, 4. But that can't be 3. So that can't be 4. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Yeah, none of these do anything right now. This 7 8 pair sees that, so that's 5, that's 7. So that can't be 7, and that can't be 3, which matches with that, but I don't think we have a triple anywhere. Maybe we could look at this now though, because this can't have 7 or 8 in it, which means it's either 2 9 or 5 6, I think. If that can't be 9, then that can't be 2. I mean, is this somewhat similar? Yeah, this can't have, this can't have 7 in it. And it also can't have 8 in it, because that can't be 8. And by those cells, that can't be 8. So it can't be 7, 6, or 5, 8. So it must be 4, 9. Okay. Which means this can't be 2, 9. It has to be 5, 6. Which means that this now can't be 4, 6, or... Or it can't be 4, 6. Whoopsies. So again, it still could be either of that. No, it can't be. There's a 9 here, so it can't be 1 9, so it's 2 8, which has to be like that. 
So those can't be 2s. And in fact, the only way to make 6 is with 1 and 5, which we can disambiguate like that. This 1 implies that's a 3, so that's a 1. Okay, nothing else to do with that yet. This now can't be... This now can't... Yeah, this now can't be... Uh, uh, it's can't be 1, 9, 3, 7, or 2, 8, so it must be 4, 6. I'm just going to mark that down. I don't think we can disambiguate that. Which gives us options for that. This can't be 1, 8, 3, 6, or 4, 5, so it's 2, 7. Which we also cannot disambiguate somehow. Um, this 11, maybe, with a 3 and a 9. This 11 can't be 2, 9, or 3, 8. So it, it, could, be, it could be 4, 7 or 5, 6, I think. Because you could have 5 here, 6 there, or you could have 4 here, 7 there. Yeah, that seems fine. So both are still possibilities. Okay. This one could be interesting. It can't be 3, 6, or 4, 5. So it is either 2, 7, or 1, 8. No, we don't have anything for that either. Okay. Hmm, not sure. Is this this is a five five nine? Yeah, five nine. A five nine pair on the outside. And I guess we could mark these down as being four six nine. This can't be 9, but, oh, which allows us to put this down as a 5 or a 7, uh, which doesn't do anything, but it is something. Oh, this, okay, this 9 over here can't be a 3-6 pair, it can't be a 2-7 pair, because I will remove both options from here. So it's either 1-8 or 4-5, but notice 4-5 actually removes everything from here. If this is 4, 5, this can't be 4, 7, but it also can't be 5, 6. So this can't actually be 4, 5, and must therefore be 8, 1. Whoa, what am I doing? 8, 1. And therefore... Therefore what? The range digits are... Oh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't have much for that then. Uh... Okay. I think 1 has to be there, because this eight, uh, this 1-8 pair and 7-8 pair actually form an X-wing, and we say, well, where does 8 go in this column? 8 can't go there, 8 can't go there, so 8 has to be one of those cells, but 8 can't be here, because it will have to be paired with a 1, which is already in the column, so 8 can only be there, which has to have a 1 here, which then disambiguates this 8-1 pair, which then disambiguates this 7-8 pair. That is clean, that is so clean. Wow, okay, so now this can't be 4, 5, 3, 6, but it can't be 1, 8 either, so it must be 2, 7, which we can resolve, which also resolves this 7, 8 pair, which also resolves this 7, 8 pair. Okay, everything is is is, is coming into place. That must be 3, that must be 2. This can't be 2, so that can't be 5. Yes, okay. So those digits would be 4, 5, 3, 6. This can't be 5, so that can't be 4. This this can't be 6, so that can't be 3. This 3 means that can't be 3, so that can't be 6. This can't be 4, so that can't be 5. Yeah, okay. Looks good. And I don't think we can disambiguate anything else from that. That does form like a 4-6 pair here probably. Although I'm not sure how useful that is. Okay, let's look at those. Oh, this 6, yes. This 6 disambiguates that, so that's 5, that's 6. Which disambiguates that, that's 5, that's 4. Which means this must be 3, that must be 6, which disambiguates this. Okay. Uh, this can't be 6. This 3 makes that a 2, which must be accompanied by 5. Uh, this 9 disambiguates this 4-9 pair. I think that's been there for a while. 
uh, this 5, this ambiguous is 7, so that must be a 4, which means that must be a 2, that must be a 7. This, uh, well, this 4 sees that, so that's 9. That's 6, this 9 sees that, so that's 5. That's 9. Okay, uh, this 3, this ambiguous is 1, 3 pair, which means we have the entire central area complete. It means it's only Sudoku left. This is 3, 4, and 5. 4, 5 makes that a 3. 5 here sees that cell, so that's 4, that's 5. Those digits are 3, 5, 8. 3 must be there. 8 sees that cell, so that's 5, that's 8. Those cells, I mean, we can just... That's 6, and that is 4. Here we have 1, 2, and 7. That can't be 7, so 7 must go there. This 2 sees that cell, so that's 1, that's 2. Therefore, that's 1. This cell must be 6. Those cells are 3, 8, 9. So 8 goes there. This can't be 9, so that's 3. That's 9. Those digits are 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 5. This is 1. That can't be 5, so that's 2. That's 5. That These digits would be 2, 6, and 9. This can be 2, 6, so that's 9. This can be 2, is 6, and then that's 2. Those digits are 1, 4, 1, 4, 7. This can be 1, 7, so that's 4. This can be 7, so that's 1, that's 7. And our final digits are 2, 3, and 4. This can be 3 and 4, that's 2. This is 4, and our last digit is a 3. Finishing the puzzle in about 20 minutes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be off now. Bye bye. Hello. This is Slide by uh, Dumediat. I, I hope I got that name right. Uh, it is a puzzle in in uh, James Sinclair's Artism of Sudoku, Volume 107. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. We got normal Sudoku was applied, so digits will deny every row, every column, and every 3x3 box. Digits in cages may not repeat, and must sum to the small number in the top left corner of the cage. So for example, these three digits, they have to sum to 20. Uh, these two digits sum to 9, and so on for every cage here. Digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So those two digits are consecutive. If this was like a, 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 a um, you know, 8, this could be a 7, something like that. Digits separated by a black dot must be in a 1 to 2 ratio. So one would obviously double the other. If you had like a 4 and 2, that would be fine. 6 and 3, fine as well. And uh, not all dots are given, so it's possible for any other pair of digits to follow the rules. Digits may not repeat along the marked diagonal, so these digits must all be different, and well, it's implied that all these digits are another set from 1 to 9. So with that, let us begin solving. So, okay, I think we look at this 17 cage first. Because 17 can only be made in one way, that would be 8 and 9. Which which restricts this cell, because this cell can't be a 9. If it was a 9, this cell is consecutive to it and is forced to be an 8. But that cell would also be an 8, and then you have two 8s in the boxes. So, that's not a 9, that's an 8. And now this cell is either 7 or 9, but 9 is already in the box, so that must be 7. Okay. And I guess... I guess we, we, we actually do see a lot of these almost L-shaped things here. Yeah, we see a lot of these L-shaped things here. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, there's also one over here. Don't know if this is very useful, though. Let's see. Okay, well, let's start with this one, because we have digits here. Uh, I can actually tell you what those digits sum to. Because all digits in a box must be from 1 to 9, and therefore they sum to 45. These three digits sum to 24, those digits sum to 12. So in fact, those three digits sum to a total of 36. Which means these three digits is 45 minus 36, which would be 9. So these digits sum to 9. I wonder if that's going to help us. They have to be relatively low then. They can't have like... Yeah, they have to be relatively low. Hmm, but they don't have to be that low. You could have a 6 on here with a 1 and a 2. 
Maybe that restricts this though. Because these digits really can't be that big either. So this is at least at, at most a six, right? Because whatever cells in here has to be this this has a, to be at most a five. You can't have a six in here, otherwise you wouldn't have anything to put here. So this is at most a six. Which means that these sum to at most twelve. And with the 14, this means this is at most 26. So these digits are actually at least 45 minus 26, which is 19. So this uh, this is at least 19. Hmm. At least 19. That's quite big. That is quite big. Hmm. Okay. Okay, what about here then? This 6 and this 7 together feel very... Yeah, in fact with this consecutive here, it feels like these 5 cells in particular are quite restricted. <laughs> but that, that could be a 7, right? That's, that's as big as it can go. Which really doesn't say much. This could be 6, 1. That could be 2, 4. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the options for this. This has to be either 1, 5, or 2, 4, right? That's the only way you can make 6. 5 cannot be beside a black dot because 5 doesn't have any counterpart that forms a 1 to 5 ratio. So that can't be 5, that can't be 1. 1, 2, and 4. If this is 1, then that's 2. If this is 2, it will be with 4, meaning it can't be with 4 here, so it would have to be a 1. And if it's 4, it will be with a 2, so 4 can't be with uh, 2 here, meaning that will be an 8. So there you go, we have some possibilities. Well I can say that, where does 9 go? Yes, 9 has to go in one of those cells, right? Ah, yeah, okay, 9 has to go in one of those cells. Because 9 can't be in any of those cells, as we've seen. 9 can't be in the 7 cage, but 9 can't be here either. Because that will force an 8 in the 7 cage, which is just not possible. So in fact, 9 is in one of those cells, which means that 9 is not in one of those cells. And we know 9 is not in the 6 cage, because 6 is less than 9. And we know this is a maximum of, of, of 6, right? Yeah. Because this can't be 9, that would make this an 8, which is not possible. So 9 can't be in those cells, it can't be in those cells. So 9 must be in the 14 cage. Which must add with 5 to make 14. Okay. Well, that might restrict this cell then. Yeah. Because wherever 9 is, oh my goodness, wherever 9 is, it must be with... 5. So one cell is 9, the other two cells sum to 5. Those cells will sum to 6. And whichever two cells sum to 5 with that cell sum to 6 sum to 14 in total. But how do you make 11 in 4 cells? Uh, because there's 4 cells, right? And then 1 is 5, 1 is 6, they sum to 11. The only way to make 11 in 4 cells is 1, 2, 3, and 5. And the way to see that is the minimum you can have in, in 4 cells is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, to make to make this an 11, well this is 10 right, to make this an 11 you need to add 1. But you can't add 1 to 2, otherwise 2 would repeat. You can't add 1 to 2, uh, you can't add 1 to 2 because for the same reason, you can't add 1 to 3 for the same reason. And so the only way you can add 1 to this is to have 1 added to 4, which gives you only one way to make 11. So I hope that was easy enough for you, uh, for you to understand. But this makes it a 1, 2, 3, 5, 9 quadruple. Those can't be 9s. But in fact, those can't be 3s either. Because 3s would have to be with other 3s to make 6. That can't be 2. Yes, because 2 is with... Uh, 2 is with uh, 4 to make 6, and but 4 is not in one of those cells. So we have a 1, 5 pair here, which allows us to remove 1, 5 from there. Uh... Ah, okay, then I can tell you that this is not 1, because 1 here makes this a 2, which doesn't work, because there's already a 2 in one of those cells. So this has to be 5, that has to be 1. This is now 4 or 6, which I think doesn't matter. Yeah, because those do not have 4 or 6 in them. Hmm, which does mean that 7 and 8 lie in those cells, which is good, because where does 8 go in this box now? 8 can't be in those cells, 8 can't be in the 7 cage, and 8 can't be here, because that forces this to be a 7. Uh, which doesn't work in the 7 cage. So 8 can only be in that cell, which must be next to 4, which must be next to 2. Very nice, okay. 
Now 7 is in one of these cells, and 7 can't be in its own cage because you can't add anything, add to 7 to make 7. So 7 must be there, which must be beside 6 because it can't be beside 8, which must be next to 1. Okay, that was very clean logic. So this must be next to, uh, this must be 9, 3, and 5. Which, yeah, okay. So in fact, 3 and 5 must lie in those those cells in the 12 cage, because they can't be in here. And 3 and 5 must accompany 4 to make 12. Which means we can tell what those digits are. Those digits are 1, 2, and 6, which do add to 9, that's good, we know that. So those digits to finish the diagonal are 4, 8, and 2. Wait, no, not 2. Sorry, 4, 7, and 8. Which means that's not 4, that is 6. Okay, so actually this is very familiar to me because I think I did a puzzle a long time ago by Dr. Logic, was it? Uh, which used sort of the same uh, idea of of, of cell, of uh, killer cages and and that diagonal there. But this, this feels like a more advanced version of that. So that's cool. Alright, so what do we look at now? Hmm. Don't see much, except maybe this 10 cage, which does have to be quite small. This 20 and 12 cage has to be quite large then. In fact, okay. Yeah, I can tell you that this 12 cage has three options, correct? It could either be 3, 9, 4, 8, or 5, 7. That seems like a lot at first, but we know that 5, 7 isn't possible, because whatever cell this is, there is no counterpart here that works. And in fact, I should probably just tell you, the only way you could fulfill this using the digits 1 to 9, they are either 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6. These are the only ways to do it. And that means 5, 7, and 9 cannot appear on, uh, cannot appear beside the dot anywhere. And so what that means is that this really just can't be a 5, 7 pair. It could be a 4, 8 pair. And actually a 4, 8 pair is also restricted because this can't be 8. If it was 8, it would need to be next to uh, 2, 4s, which doesn't work. So if it was a 4-8 pair, this would have to be 4, and that would have to be 8. Now our last option is a 3-9 pair. But this cell can't be a 9, because again we know that 9 can't be next to a black dot. So that can't be 9, meaning that can't be 3. Uh, if, this is, if this was a 4, it must be next to 2, correct? Yeah. So because it can't be next to 8, 8 is already here. If it was a 3, it would have to be next to a 6, which is the only thing it can be next to. So those are our options. That's somewhat useful. Okay, I could probably do the same thing with the 9 here then, because nine, 9 does have 4 options though, which is a lot more. And 1, 8 is a very good way to, to make it, because 1 and 8 could actually both occupy that cell. 2, 6 also works. Oh, sorry, it's not 2-6, sorry. Yeah, okay, let's think about how we would fulfill this. If this is 2-7, seven, then 7 can be next to a black dot, so that would be forced to be like that. This could be 1 or 4 in this case. If it were 1-8, that would just be fine, so let's leave that for last. This can't be 3-6, because if it was 3-6, then you can't form a 3-6 pair here anymore. Which is... it makes sense, right? Yeah, you can't have a 3-6 pair there, because you already have a 3-6 pair here. So those cells would essentially be the same if it was a 3-6 pair, which is not possible. If it was 4-5, then 5 can't be next to a black dot, so that would happen. This 4 could be next to 2 or 8, I think that's fine. And if it was a 1-8, it will be fine, because this could be 1 or 8. So in fact, this is from 1, 2, 4, 8 as well. Yeah, so yeah, 1 is next to 2, 2 is next to 1 or 4, 4 is next to 2 or 8, and 8 is next to 4 itself as well. Okay, well that's not very helpful. So we might have to look somewhere else. Maybe we'll do like actual Sudoku first. Hmm. 6 could be there though. In fact, this could also be a 1, 8 or a 3, 6 pair. It can't be 4, 5 or 2, 7. But it could be again 3, 6 or 1, 8. This one here means that's not 1, so that's not 8. Okay. 
this one is a little bit worse because this one does still have four options which is restricted even less so that's unfortunate okay well what else can we do Maybe more of the eights. No, I don't think so. Well, sevens and eights do see the same cells here. So sevens and eights must lie in those cells. Does that mean much though? I don't think it means much. say this cell kind of a nine in it because nine in fact kind of an eight in it either so well eight could be there though i'll say nine is one of those cells in fact it's in one of those cells because nine cannot be in the 10 cage otherwise nine plus you know at least one or two which give would give it like 12 at this point so nine has been one of those cells and maybe we do the exact same thing here where yeah one is in one of those cells because one can't be in the 20 cage because 1 in a 20 cage would require both uh, 2 other cells at the 19, which just isn't possible. So 1 is again in one of those cells. Which is oddly symmetrical to the 9. Maybe that's just how it is. I wonder if we can find something else that matches this. No, but like, um, I could say 2 is not in there. Because 2 would need to add the 18, and you can't have 2 cells at the 18, otherwise you'd need double 9. It can't be 3 either, can it? Because 3 would need to be with 8 and 9, and that would remove 8 and 9 from those cells. And in fact, this 8 9 pair means none of those can be 8 and 9, which would force both of those to be 8 and 9. So 3 can't be in there either. So, okay, well, 3 can be there though. But we know this cell cannot have 1, 2, or 3 in it. Hmm. It could have 4 in it. If it was with... No, well... I was like, could I have both 2 and 3 outside? And yeah, I mean, yes. If it had 4 inside though, this would have to be a 3-6 pair. Because this can't have 4 and 2 in it. Which is fine, I think. Because 4 then would be with 8, which is fine, because this would be need to be with 4, 7, and 9. Okay, could this not have a 9 in it? If it was just 6, 7, and 8, that would add to 11, I think, which is fine. So it is possible this to not have a 9 in it. Okay. Hmm. If it, if it didn't, it would need to be with. It would need to have 5, 7, 8, right? I think. Because if it did have a 9 in it, how do you make 20? Your 6, 7, 8 maximum gives you a 21. And by the same logic with the 1, 2, 3, 4 that we did at the very beginning, the one way to the only way to make 20 out of this is to remove 1 from one of these numbers. And you can only do that by removing 1 from the 6. So if there was no 9, then this is the, the combination you need. Which I think works, because 5 would have to be there, 8 would have to be there, and 7 would be there. Which which means 9 is there. But if it- ah, okay, okay. Wait, well, 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 does that really help? I can say 9 is one of those cells. Because if there was no 9, we know that this can't be 8, so that would have to be 9. But if there was 9, this 9 looks at those cells, that would have to be putting a 9 there. So 9 is always in one of those two cells. Which... Not sure if that helps, but we could do something similar here, I guess. Although one could be any of those cells, which would ultimately not work. Okay. So, yeah, okay, we can do the same thing here with... If there was no one here, what would happen? You need 2, 3, and 4. Well, 2, 3, and 4 minimum without a 1. 
requires you to add 1 to one of these numbers, and it can only be possible with a 5. So if there was no 1 in here, you would need to be 2, 3, and 5. Which means 5 would be there, this would be a 2, 3 pair. This therefore can't be 2, 7, or 4, 5, which would have to be a 1, 8 pair. But I think that's fine, right? Because 8 could be here with 4. Even though 1, yeah, 1 could be there, so... No, I don't think that's the issue. What about 7? What about something like 7? Can 7 be in here? It could be in here with 1 and 2, I think. Yeah, because you could have 7 there, 1 here, 2 there. And even though none of these can be 2, you could still have something like... I don't know, 4, 5, 8, and I think that would work, so yeah, 7 can be in the 10 cage. I think 8, 8 can't be in the 10 cage, obviously, but 8 could be anywhere in there as well, so that's not really much of a thing that I should be concerned about. Okay. I just feel like this 20 cage is very restricted somehow. I don't know exactly how it's restricted. Okay, if it didn't have a 9 in it, it would need a 5, 7, 8, right? We, we know that. If it did have a 9 in it, how will we do this? If it had a 9 in it... Okay, let, yeah, let's just, let's just go logic by logic. If it had a 9 in it, what would we need? This will be 8, which must be with... 4, which must be with 2. Those cells have to add to 11, which cannot use 2, 9, 4, 7, or 3, 8. So it must be 5, 6 then. Which means our other option, if 9 was present, would have to be 5, 6, and uh, 9. Okay. So, removing those cells, once again, I can say that in both of these options, it would have to be either 5, 7, 8, or 5, 6, 9. So this must have a 5 in it somehow, which gives us a digit, because 5 here sees those cells. So those can't be 5, which means 5 must be there. Okay, that's a digit. 5 is in one of those cells. Okay, and and, and uh, let's just mark these in. Yes, it can't be 5, 6, 9 anymore, because 6 can't be in those cells. So it is in fact a 5, 7, 8, which we can resolve. Okay, well, that's interesting. This 8 means that must not be a 9, which must be with a 3, which must be with a 6. Oh, a 3 in the corner. Nice. Okay. So now, this 9 can't be a 3-6 pair, because this can't be 3 or 6, so it must be a 1-8 pair, which must be fulfilled like that. Uh, let's just put in those digits first. Those are 2, 4, and... Uh, 1, 2, and 4. 1 can't be in those two cells, by these ones here, so 1 goes there. That's a 2-4 pair. Uh, wow, that is quite something. These 8s see 8 there. In fact, this can't be a 7 either, so that's 4, that's 7, that's 8. Uh, 9 can't be in the... 3 can't be in those cells, in fact, so... So that means this must be 3. This 2, 9 pair sees that cell, so that's 4, that's 2. Okay, 3, 3 sees those cells, so 3 must be there. Uh, 2 and 6 see that, see that cell, so that's 1. So those can't be 1 anymore. Alright, that was very cool. Those digits have to be 4 and 6 to complete the column. 6 here means that's 4, that's 6. And those digits are, I think, 5 and 7, which we can resolve with this 7 here. So that's 5, that's 7, this is no longer 5. Those digits have to be 3, 9, and 2, 3, 9. 2, 3, 9 to complete the uh, box. That can't be 2. And, uh, yeah, and that's all we get. Okay, let's move on. Okay, 4 here means that can't be 4, which means this can't be 5. So this is either a 1, 8 pair or 2, 7 pair. This can't be 8, because 8 would need to have a 4 there, so that can't be 8. Uh, okay, anything else? Not right now. Eight here, 8 here is fine. 8 could also be in there, which is okay. Okay, let's, let's actually do more Sudoku first. I want to figure out those digits. 4, 5, and 9. Sorry if this is being very 
very all over the place right now. I'm just seeing random stuff and hoping I can figure them out. Okay. Oh, this one here means that's not longer a one, so that's no longer an eight. Four could still be with two though, so that's fine. Two could be with one and four. Yeah. So these options are all still valid. Um. Anything else that I'm just failing to see? Okay, well I can tell you 8 are none of those cells, which means 8 is not one of those cells either. So 8 is in one of those cells now. Which looks up into this box and says that, yeah, these 8s look at those cells, so 8 must be there. Another digit. Those sum to 11, but can't use 4, 7, can't use 5, 6, or can't use, and can't use 3, 8. So it must be 2, 9. This 9 here sees that cell, so that's 2. That's 9. That removes 2 and 9 from here, making that a 3. That must be 5 to complete the row. Uh, this 3 means that is a 9. So that cell is 2. This 9 sees that cell, and 5 sees that cell, so this must be 3, therefore that's 9. This 5 means that is 9, so those are not 9. Okay, more digits. Those digits are 6, 7, and 5. 5, 6, 7. Those digits are, I think, 1, 3, and 4 which they are. 3 here means that's not 3. Oh, that, that's from a 1, 2, 4, triple. That can't be 1. Alright, let's just use the 1, 2, 4, triple to say that's not 4. So that's 5. And that's 4. That's not 5. 4 here sees that cell, so that's 3. Uh, okay. Lots of digits everywhere. Uh, oh, this 1, 2, 4, triple means that's not 2 either. So that's 6. That's 2. This 5 and 6 see that cell, so that's 7. Uh, and the last digit in this column would have to be 9, which makes sense. 9 was in one of those two cells. Uh, okay, very, very cool. Anything else I can do? I could probably do something. Hmm, I don't seem... Okay, well those 3s see those cells, so 3 must be in there somewhere which must be accompanying 7, which can be made with 1, 6, or 2, 5, but it can't be 2, 5 because these two see all the 2s in there. So in fact, this has to be 3 with 1 and 6. This one sees those cells, which means 1 goes there. Those have to therefore be 3 and 6. 3 sees that cell, so 3 must be there, 6 must be there. Oh, another 3 in the corner, very nice. 1 makes that a 4, that's a 1. Therefore, that's 2, which must be with 4. It can't be with 1. 2 must be with 7, putting an 8 down there. That cell is therefore a 5 to complete the box, which means that is a 6. That's a 5. And we are almost done. This 2 sees that cell, so that's 9. That's 2. So this is 1, 6, and 8, which we... Uh, I guess we can't resolve. Those cells are 3, 5, and 9, which we also can't resolve. Okay. I feel like this is starting to become a joke now. I'm always I'm always doing this man. 247. Yeah, again, cannot resolve. It must be this 9 somehow. Yeah, this 9 and this yeah, this 5 and this 9, sorry. See that's so that's 3. This is not 9, so that's 5. That's 9. Uh, this 5 here resolves that, so that's 4. That's 5. This cell can't be 2 or 4, so that is a 7. This is not 4, so that's 2, meaning that is 4. Probably resolving the rest of the digits at this point. This is 1, 2, and 3. 1 and 2 here make that a 3. This 2 means that's 1, so that's 2. Those digits are 6, 7, and 8. 6 and 7 means that's 8. This 7 means that's 6, so that's 7. This can't be 1 or 8, so that's 6. This can't be 6 or 1, so that's 8. And the last digit here is 1 to complete the puzzle. Well, that was fun. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hello, this is Waiting Room by James Sinclair, uh, part of his Artisanal Sudoku Volume 107. Uh, it is a, well, killer arrow Sudoku as you can see here. So let's go through the rules. Uh, normal Sudoku is apply. We place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, that cell as well, and every 3 by 3 box. Uh, cages show their sums, basically meaning that whatever those digits are, has to sum to this number in the corner. So those digits sum to 7. 
those digits sum to 30. Uh, and um, and digits may not repeat within a cage. So, for example, those two digits cannot be the same because they are in the same cage. Digits on arrows sum to the number in the connected circle. So, for example, these two cells sum to that digit. These four cells sum to that digit and may repeat if allowed by other rules. So saying we can say those are both allowed to be one. Right, and those are all the rules. So this one is actually the um, hardest free puzzle in there. I think his difficulty rating is 7 out of 10 for this puzzle. So we might be spending a bit of time on it. But with that, let us begin solving. Alright, so first things first. The 6 and the 7 are quite restrained. They have to be uh, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 4. Uh, the 7 is 1, 2, 4 and the 6 is 1, 2, 3. And the reason why is those are the only ways to make those digits, uh, those sums in 3 cells. Which is something. That cell is actually already quite low anyway, so... Yeah. And this 20 cage makes this cell quite high, so... There isn't really much minimum, maximum uh, restriction on this arrow here. We can't say that this is too low either. This could even be a 9, I think that's fine. So maybe we don't look at that. Maybe we look at these numbers, which are much bigger. In fact, these 30 and 31 cages are really on the high end as well, as you can see. Uh, can this... Oh, but, but these digits don't have to be that small either. They can have any number on them, I think. Because even if you had a 1 in the 31 cage, it could be with 6, 7, 8, and 9. Right? Although, to be fair... Those digits, those digits can't be quite high then. Yeah, in fact, those digits have to be fairly small. <laughs> and and so, what what are the minimum sums of those digits? If we make these as high as possible, say seven, eight, and nine, then those digits have to sum to thirty-one minus seven, eight, and nine. Which is uh, 7, right? Yeah, okay. So these digits sum to at least 7, which is good. Because with those two digits being at least 1, makes this already at least a 9. Which means it has to be a, a 9 exactly. And those digits have to be 1. This has to be exactly 7. Those digits have to be 7, 8, and 9. <laughs> okay, so we've made uh, some progress with this. Using minimum, maximum uh, logic. Which is quite cool. I like that. Now, this is not the same. Ah, but it is somewhat the same. If we also made this 7, 8, and 9, this is again minimum of 6. Ah, no, this time is minimum 6. So this is at least 6. Okay, but this 1 helps us. Because even though this is at least 6, this is at least 1. This can't be at least 1, and in fact has to be at least 2. And so with this at least 6, at least 2, at least 1 here, this again is at least 9. So once again, we are forced to use the minimum here, where this is 1, uh, this is 9, this is 1, this is 2, these sum to 6, and these sum to 24, which can only be made with 7, 8, and 9. Right, so we have several 7, 8, 9 triples here. Well, we have a couple of them. This 2 actually does disambiguate the rest of this. And in fact, this 2 means that can't be a 2 either, so that's 1. That is a 2. This 1, I should have seen that. This can't be 1 either, so 1 goes there. So, okay, lots of digits, very nice. Now those digits have to sum to 7. But they can't have... Yeah, they can't be 1s, because 1s see those cells. And in fact, I could probably tell you where 1 goes in this box first. Yep, 1 goes there in this box. Oh, I should... Mm, I should probably... Yeah, those sum to 6. That's actually a bit easier to work with. And they can't have 1s in them. Because ones see those cells. So they can only be 2 and 4. Because they can't be 1 and 5. They can't be 2 threes. 2 sees that cell. So that's 4. That's 2. Now this could help. Because... Hmm, no, it, it can't really. Uh, this is either 3, 4 to make 7. Or 2, 5 to make 7. It can't be 1 and 6. Because 1 sees both of those cells. If it was a 2, 5. This cell can't be 2. So that cell can't be 5. And if it was a 4. Or 3, 4. That cell can't be 4. So this cell can be 3. Okay, that's nice. Oh, actually this 9 sees those 3 cells, which is quite important. 
because the maximum you can make without a 9 is 6, 7, 8, which does sum to exactly 21. So this has to be 6, 7, and 8. Uh, this 7, 8, 9 triple here sees that cell, so that must be a 6. Uh, okay. This one is, oh, this one is also very similar. I think uh, later I'll be editing all my solves together of the three puzzles in this uh, volume. And in the previous puzzle, I did mention that a 20 without a 9 in it can only be made in one way. It's six, seven, and, uh, it's 5, 7, and 8. And the reason why is because, um, I'm going to repeat that logic again. The maximum you can have is 6, 7, 8. To make 20, you need to remove 1 from one of these cells. But which cell are you, which digit are you removing one from? You can't remove it from the 8, otherwise you'd have two sevens, which doesn't work. It doesn't even let you type it in actually, wow, it just takes it away. And it can't be removing from 7, because then you have two sixes. So the only way to remove one from these three digits is to remove one from the 6, which would then give you 5, 7, and 8, which does some 20, so that's good. So now we know this is 5, 7, and 8. Again, this can't be 7, 8, or 9, so that's just 5. Uh, sorry, can I please type my digit in? Thank you. This is a 7 and 8, and it sees 1. What is this? Yeah, it sees 1. So this is 1 less than that cell, so it's either 6 or 7. Oh, I see we've made a few more uh, 7, 8, 9 triples here, which should allow me to put those digits in. Those are 2, 3, and 5. Those are, uh, I think, sorry. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, this is not fixed, so... This one is not the same as this one. Okay. Well, I can see the 2 sees that cell. Which doesn't give us much still, so that's unfortunate. Okay. We have some number of digits already. I think that's good, but I think we need even more oh yeah like in this in this row for example this has to be three four and five to complete the row and this cell can be five okay i think this is either six or nine right because it can't be one two three or four or it could be five it could be 6. It can't be 7 or 8 because of the pair outside. So this is 5, 6, or 9. Okay, I wonder how that helps me. Mm, it doesn't. Oh, in fact, this is a 7, 8 pair. Yes, because 7 and 8 come in those cells. 7 and 8 by these pair come in there. And by the 7, 8, 9 triple here, this cell can't be 7 or 8. So none of those are 7 and 8, so 7 and 8 can only lie in those cells. Huh, that's not something I would have expected. Which does mean that 9... 9 is one of those cells, right? Because 9 can't be there by the 789 pair. 789 triple, sorry. So 9 is one of those cells. Does that help? Hmm, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, another way we could have seen it is that there is a 9 in one of those cells by the box here, so that can't be a 9. And then symmetrically... Well, no, we, we wouldn't have thought of it that way. Yeah, for this box, you can't repeat the same thing. But now we know 9 is in one of those cells, because this can't be a 9 from the logic we repeated. Oh, and in fact, because of this 789 triple, we do know that 9 is in one of those cells. Alright, fair enough. But that does also mean that 9 is therefore in one of those cells. Oh, and in fact, this 7 and 9 here mean that 9 is in one of those cells, but 9 can't be here, because this digit would have to be bigger than this one. So this can't be 9. Uh, sorry, and this 9 sees that. So 9 must be there. Okay. So this has to be summing up to 9. It can't use 2, 7. But it could probably, it could probably use every other number, right? Yeah. Every other digit is fine. Okay. Now we probably have a lot more that we can work with, although I'm not seeing anything to work with here.
Oh, sorry, that can't be 5. Should have seen that. But again, not very helpful. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't say that 2 is in only one of those cells, because 2 can't be here or there. So 2 is in one of those cells. Does that make anything happen? Mm, not really. No, I don't think so. Okay. Should I mark these down in the first place? I don't think I should. I don't think there's really any real use to it. Because those are 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9. Which which doesn't mean anything. So what are these digits again? Those are 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't know um, if I'm supposed to use these arrows or if I'm supposed to just do regular Sudoku. If there's anything, it has to be regular Sudoku or these arrows, right? Is there some way to eliminate one of these options? Yeah, 6 is one of those cells. Exactly, okay, I didn't even see that. But 6 is one of those cells. Maybe this can't be 6, that's 7, which means that must be 8. Which means that's 7, which helps us eliminate a lot of things from those cells. Which does give us a lot more pairs to work with. I should have seen that six is in one of those cells, which would have helped. It, which could have uh, been fine if I marked it. Although we still don't know where six goes in here. Funny enough. Oh, I do know that six is in one of those cells. Okay, so uh, eight. 8 now is in one of those cells. Does that make any difference? Sorry, this 8 means that's a 7. Okay. So now we know 7 is in one of those cells. I could probably do more Sudoku somehow. This uh, still can't be a 2. It, could, it still could be anything, I think. 8. 8 is in one of those cells. It isn't forced anywhere, though. So, uh, hmm. Okay, 5 is in one of those cells, which points up there. It also points down here, but I don't think it does much. Actually, in fact, 6 and 8 are in here. Does that mean much? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, wait, where does one go? Here, one does have three options. One could be there if eight was there, that's fine. Hmm. I should mark those maybe? Those are 5, 6, and 9. Which probably means something. Should I just mark these in? Let's just mark those in. Those are 3, 5. Uh, sorry, those are 2, 3, 5, 6, 9. That's a lot of digits. This can't be 2. That can't be 5. Yeah, what does that even do? Well, we know 9 is one of those cells, so that can't be 9 either. Okay. That's something. But, uh, mm, I don't think it's much. This is also 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. But, can't be a 5, and can't be a 9. 
It could still be 6 though. Yeah. Can that cell be 2? I think it can. Yeah, so 2 can be in any of those cells. Actually, yeah, let's look at the, these cells. Form a. Oh, sorry, this 5 sees that. What am I doing? That makes that a 4. So that's 2. Sorry, that is 3. That makes 7. Like, actually, what am I. Um, I think I'm tripping. So those cells are not 4. That's not 3. I think I gotta slowly figure this all out. Uh, this 3 sees that cell, so that's 4. This forms a 2 6 pair, which is useful. Uh, yeah, that is a 3 5 pair, which is fine. Uh, anything else we can do? This is a 2 3 6 chocolate teapot. How do I get this digit? Oh, it's a 1, right? Which I got from the ones outside. I was like, could I not get this digit then by symmetry? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is 3, 5, 6, 9. It's not, none of those are resolvable. <laughs> but okay. We could probably resolve this somehow. Well, I don't see exactly. This is another chocolate teapot. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, these are pairs, sorry, these are pairs which does allow us to disambiguate those cells. This is not 8 or 9, so that's 7, this is not 7 or 9, so that's 8. That is to quite little effect, though no, this 7 sees that cell. Okay, so this is all disambiguated now. This 9 sees that cell, so that's 8, that's 9, okay. All roughly disambiguated, which does give us some options here, I think. Yeah, now that, now that we have those cells. Actually no, I think those cells were already there in the form of a pair, which means that every deduction we got after that probably... I mean, we know A is in one of those cells. What else do we know? Oh, we can put one in this box because all these ones see all those cells. So one goes there, which means that... Which means that in this box, right, one goes here, which must be with eight, okay. So, so now, 8 is in one of those cells, and I think 8 is in one of those cells by Sudoku. 1, 1 we can also place in this box, that's 1. I think we got all the 1s now. Yep, we got all the 1s. Can we do anything else? Yes, these 2 see those cells. This 2, 6 pair looks at that cell, so 2 goes there. Which means in this box, those cells are seen. That cell is seen by this 2, so 2 goes there. Which means that, yep, 2 goes two goes here in this box. Which is good, That's a, that disambiguates this entire thing. 5, 3, 2, which disambiguates this entire thing. 6, 3, 5, this is 2, sorry, 2. So that's no longer 5, giving us a 6, 9 pair, which is very nice. Uh, I think we got all the 2s. Cool, what about the 3s? Mm, yes, threes, threes in this box must be there, which forces nine down there. Uh, and now we can place, yep, these threes look at that, so that's three, that's eight. I think this is just regular Sudoku now, because we've used every clue so far. So that is pretty awesome. Those digits are four, five, and six. This can be four, five, so that's six. This forms a four, five pair. These two digits are... I think 6 and 7, and this 7 disambiguates that. That digit is a 3. Oh, 3 in the corner, again. Very nice. Those are 4, 5, and 8. Which we can't disambiguate, but I'll remove some digits for you. Uh, sorry. 7, this is 4, 5, 7. Okay, I think this is getting quite fruitless. I'm just gonna... Look at the easier ones first. Those are 5 and 6, which we somehow cannot distinguish. So that's awesome. This is uh, 5, 6, 8, I think. That can't be 8. That can't be 5. Oh, nice chocolate teapot you have there. This is a 5, 6 pair, so those digits have to be 4 and 3. 
which we can disambiguate. So that's 4, that's 3. This 4 disambiguates that. That's a 5 8 pair, so that's 4. Okay. Not a chocolate teapot this time. Those digits have to be 3, 5, and 8, I think. And this can't be 3, so that forms another pair, which means 3 must be there. I think we could have done that by Sudoku as well. We're missing a 7. Yeah, we're missing a 7 here, but we don't know where it is. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Anything, any freebies we can still do? Yeah, like those digits. Well, okay, sorry, this 6 sees that cell, so I should probably do that first. <laughs> so that can't be 6. And then in fact, this this is this ooh, this disambiguates that. That's 5, that's 6. Uh, this 8 means that's 5. So that's 8. This is a 579 triple. That can't be 5. I think that's all we can do here. That digit is a 4. Those digits have to be... Sorry, this 6 sees that cell, so that's 5 first. 7 is forced to be there, so that digit has to be a 6. This digit is a 5. Uh, that's not 5. So this forms a 7-9 pair, meaning 5 goes there. That's not 5. Uh, sorry, this 5 sees that cell, so that's 4. That's 5. Uh, okay, those digits have to be... 7 and 6. 6 and 7. 6 sees that cell, so that's 7. That's 6. This 7 sees that, so that's 9. That's 7. 6 sees here, so that's 9. That's 6. Meaning that's 9. Our last two digits have to be 4 and 8. So this 8 means that's 4. That's 8 solving the puzzle in 21 minutes and 4 seconds. Well, this was also extremely cool. I really like the opening segment actually, which was about talking about minimums and maximums. I didn't actually expect that because I looked I looked at this cell and saw that well this doesn't really feel very like it. But yeah, no, this is this is this was very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.